Okay, guys. So welcome. Very nice uh, to be here with you. A uh, happy Monday. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Always a pleasure to have you here. So, well, let's see. So on Friday we had this little quiz. Uh, how was the quiz? Was it easy, difficult? Uh, so so. How was it? So so. Confusing. <laughs> Tricky. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I was uh, I was checking the results and well the results were most of them uh, satisfactory. Um, I hope you can check uh, well those results in the grades tab that you have in the website in Schoology or in the app. So you can go and check if you haven't if you haven't seen it. Uh, it should be on grades, right? So it's it should be on that tab. But let me see. First things first. Let's take attendance and then we start with this. Let me see. All right. So let's see. Uh, let's take attendance. So once you hear your name, you say present. So Adilson, are you here? Present, teacher. All right, very good, Adilson. Nice to hear. Let's see, Mr. Ronald. Ronald Present Arce. teacher. All right, Ronald, welcome, good evening. Thank you. All right, let's see, Dago, Dago Cornejo. Present teacher, good evening. Right. Good evening, welcome, nice. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, Mr. Jorge Eraso. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Jorge. Good evening. Thank you. Let me see, Mr. Mario Hernandez. Mario, Mario. No, here. Pres present teacher. Yeah. <laughs> All right, welcome, Mario. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Okay. Let me see, Mr. Nixon, the president. Present teacher. All right, Mr. Nixon, welcome. Thank you, teacher. All right, let's see, Mr. William Lopez. Present teacher, <clears throat> good evening. Right. Good evening, William, <laughs> welcome. Let's see, Gloria Mancia, are you there? Gloria, Gloria one, Gloria two. Gloria, no here right now. Okay. Let me see, Mr. Jonathan Marquina. Present teacher. All right, Jonathan, welcome. Let's see, Mr. Jaime Menjivar. Jaime, one. Jaime, two. Hi, man. Not here. All right. Let me see, Mr. Nicolas Monge. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Nicolas. Let's see, Mr. Carlos Marroquín. I know, Panameño. Tiempo entre. <laughs> <laughs> right on time. <laughs> nice, very good. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Panameño. Let's see, Mr. Rutilio Rodriguez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rutilio. How are you doing? It was good. How was how was yours? Fine, and you? All good. All good. I can't complain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nice. Let's go. All right. Nice to see you. Great. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. All right. You. Let's see, Mr. Christian Segura. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Christian. All right. Welcome. Let's see. Thank you. All righty. Mr. Francisco Solorzano. 
Francisco one, Francisco two, Francisco out. All right, Nahir. Mr. Jose Torres. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, Jose. Welcome. Thank you. All righty. Let's see, Mr. Jimmy Vallecillos. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Jimmy. Nice to see you. Good. Let's good, see. Good. <laughs> nice. Let's see, Mr. Jose Vasquez. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hello, Jose. Welcome. Good evening. Let me see, Mr. Eder, are you here? Eder Saldivar. He requested for permission, so I guess he's not going to be here. So I'll write permission. Okay. Mr. Christian Cepeda. Present, teacher. All right. Welcome, Christian. Good evening. All right, all right. Just all double right. checking. Gloria, you here? No, right? Gloria not here. Jaime Mejiva? I hear the sharp person. All right, very good, Jaime. Welcome. And all right. And Francisco Solorzano, you here? Or not yet? Francisco, Francisco? No, right? Okay. Goody, goody. Okay, guys. So. Huh? I'm sorry? Es que es lunes, teacher. Todos. Es la resaca del domingo. Ajá, they are damaged, right? Están dañados todavía del, del fin de. Sí, es la resaca. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, it must be that. All right. Okay, guys. So, very good. Very nice to, uh, to have you here. Oh, I have Gloria connected. So, welcome, Gloria. Let me just check Gloria Good evening, here. teacher. Just... Hello. Good, good evening, time. Gloria. All right. Excellent. Right on time. Um, good. All right. Let's see there. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so as I was saying, we have been a, well, this is going to be the fourth week, guys. So this is almost a, we have only, let's say, less than 10 days, less than 10 classes in which a, we're going to finish with the contents suggested by InSoftWork during this week. And then the rest, a, pretty much, we're just going to review and we're, to, a, we're just going to have a wrap up on the, well, on the module. First of all, we are finishing, uh, just reviewing some information with you. We are finishing on the 30th, I guess. Let me just confirm. Yes, so we are finishing on the 30th. That's going to be next Thursday. Next Thursday is going to be the last class, right? So that's going to be it. So we are going to finish with new topics i guess till thursday this week till thursday we're going to be reviewing a, what what rests from the topics in the course on friday the 24th we're going to have the last quiz i mean the last evaluation it's going to be a written test a, an end of module test, which is going to be similar to the ones we have been doing before in the platform. So after that, that's going to be it, right? In, after that, according to Jessica, the person in charge of the INSA for the courses at SPIC, she says that we are going to start probably, we're going to start module two after the vacation, after August vacation. So that's going to be on Monday the 10th, right? Monday the 10th. El 10 de agosto, en teoría, tendríamos que empezar el segundo módulo. 
um, sería hasta después de la vacación. O sea que tendríamos, digamos, una semana, una semana para, para descansar eh, en lo que comenzamos con el, con el segundo módulo. Eh, les decía también el viernes, este viernes, tenemos la última evaluación. Eh, lo vamos a hacer igual como, hemos, como lo hemos venido haciendo hasta ahorita en, en la plataforma, en Schoology. Y pues ese creo que va a ser acumulativo eh, de prácticamente todo lo que hemos visto. Todo lo que hemos visto, pues se resume más que todo en el uso del presente simple. Um, ya sea en el verb to be, eh, en los action verbs, en la affirmative, negative, en, en, en interrogative form, uh, pretty much that, right? Y el, bueno, en esta semana también vamos a, nos vamos a tomar un, quizás un, el jueves o miércoles y jueves, yo diría que, no, yo diría que tal vez solo el jueves, para hacer un repaso general, para que pues vayan listos para su examen el viernes. Y that's pretty much it. Eh, preguntas acerca de las fechas o algo. Teacher. Ajá. Vaya, eh, sí. en el caso de que eh, la mayoría de nosotros trabajan en Aramán, entonces uh -huh. estamos eh, sujetos a los cambios de, de turno, por así decirlo. Eh, creo que muchos nos metimos en esto por el hecho de que estábamos trabajando de día. Y en el caso de que nos hagan el cambio de turno, ¿cómo haríamos? Este, si les hacen un cambio, tendrían que avisar con tiempo, tal vez a, a Jessica. Porque, bueno, creo que hay una persona que sí, eh, bueno, ya, ya habló con ella y parece que no, no puede seguir. Eh, pues en ese caso sí habría que hacerlo con, tal vez esta semana. No sé si podrían confirmar eh, si les van a cambiar el horario, eh, si, se les, si les pueden confirmar esta semana para que puedan hablar ya eso con tiempo. Porque si ella pues, me inscribe, sí, ya me imagino que, que habría ahí un, un problemilla, ¿verdad? porque no va a haber asistencia a la clase. Así que sería bueno que, que, que hablaran con ella. Bueno, el número de ella está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Le podrían escribir a ver qué, a ver qué tal. Este, okay. una, una consulta, ¿puedo? Sí. Lo interrumpo. Ajá. Ese mismo caso tengo con unos técnicos que están recibiendo el curso y me pusieron el mismo, el mismo, la misma situación, inclusive mi persona. Uh -huh. este, mi recomendación es que lo hablen directamente con su con cada uno de sus supervisores y que le explique y le diga de que debido al curso que está promoviendo la empresa, se han involucrado en ello. Este, y que se les diga de que si los pueden dejar humildemente en el mismo horario. E incluso eh, la misma situación que se está atravesando en el país por medio del transporte, también uno tiene que poder ver con quiénes se, se coordina para, para poder movilizarse. Pero en el caso del curso... Lo mejor es que hablen cada uno con su, con su supervisor para que no les mueva el horario. Aunque sea que les cambien los días de los días de descanso, aunque los dejen martes, miércoles o jueves, viernes. Arroz y frijoles. Pero lo mejor es que... ¿Sabe el domingo, por favor? No, tampoco. No abusemos, no abusemos. D directamente sería con, para ellos, para que no tengan mucho problema. Primero el supervisor y de ahí se lo comunican a ustedes. Es mi... Es mi mi punto de vista y así hemos hecho con unos técnicos que también están en el mismo curso pero ellos lo están recibiendo por la mañana entonces ah. se quedan de noche sí yo creo que okay. si, si lo pueden si lo pueden hablar con, con, con sus supervisores o con sus managers sería súper bien ¿verdad? sería lo ideal eh, de ver si ellos les podían a, a arreglar su horario para que bueno, si pues, ellos tendrían que evaluar que, que ustedes están aprovechando el, el el curso y la, bueno, lo que la, la empresa les está ofreciendo, así que tal vez digo yo que podrían llegar a un, a un acuerdo. Nice. Sí, sí. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs> nice. So, any other Richard. question? Ajá. Tell me. Yo con las notas del, del quiz que tuvimos hasta el día, bueno, yo por lo menos no pude ver las notas. Las notas, y, aunque sea un 5, un 0. <laughs> 
Hating al sitio. Y no intentó entrar a la plataforma. No intentó ver en, en donde dice gradebook o notas. No sé cómo les aparece a ustedes. Sí, calificaciones. Ajá, sí me pareció no le... que hicimos la, Solo la, el que la tenía primera la vez, vez, pero esa no. Así ¿Y, es. ¿Cuándo revisó la última vez? Ahorita. El sábado. El sábado. Vaya, este, en teoría, bueno, tendrían que aparecer, no sé por qué. Teacher, ¿Ah? yo acabo de revisar ahorita y no me aparece. No está. No. Va, ya voy a ver. Solo qué... dice NP. Mm. Así es. Sí es. Mm. Lo mismo, NP nada más. Ajá. Ahí se lo va a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp. No pasó. Chivo, chivo. Porque no si pasa. Aparece... Ajá, no pasó. NP, no pasó. No, me... no pasó. No, me... no, este. Ya vamos a ver qué onda. ¿Por qué no linkeó la nota a las. Bueno, la nota del, te... del quiz a las notas en general? Si no, pues así a la... a la antigua. Se lo voy a mandar así individual. Nadie vio la nota. A nadie le apareció la nota. No. 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 A mí, no, en, la, pro, en, la, en la aplicación del celular no me apareció, pero viéndolo en, en la compu sí ya me aparece. Solo no sé qué problema habrá en la app de, de, de Android que no aparece, pero en la compu sí. Ajá. Sí, porque a mí en la computadora sí me aparecía. Ajá. A mí me aparece en la computadora, pero en el teléfono no. Qué raro. Sí, porque en teoría, cuando ustedes terminaban el test... Eh, pues yo hubiera dicho que independientemente de la, eh, si lo hacían en la compu o en el celular, tendría en teoría que haberles dado la nota pero, Teacher, ahí se la mandé al grupo de Whatsapp vamos a ver Ajá. así me aparece a mí uh -huh. y esto es imagino eh, que le aparecen a todos esto Cristian es desde la aplicación, ¿verdad? desde el teléfono sí, desde el teléfono ah, va. Chivo. vamos a ver qué, qué pasó entonces este, si no, como les decía, si no se la voy a mandar a su individual, le voy a tomar como una captura eh, y se los mando a cada quien eh, en última instancia. Aunque en teoría tendría que poderse linkear para que se vaya a, a su cúmulo de notas. All right, good. So, let's start then. Let's start with, uh, with today's class. Um, well, just, bueno, a los que... Perdón, antes de que comencemos, eh, solo para terminar lo de las notas. Y eh, yo revisé las notas, bueno, las notas en general anduvieron bastante bien. Creo que por ahí alguien sí se me disparó y creo que, que salió abajo de, de, del, del mínimo eh, que hubiera esperado, que era 7. Pero el, los demás anduvieron arriba de 7, eh, creo que entre 8 y 10. Eh, fueron la mayoría de las notas pero sí creo que hubo uno o dos que sí no sé qué, qué habrá pasado pero bueno ya veremos eh, como les decía cualquier cosa si no yo Ahí. se las mando individual uh -huh. ¿Ah? ¿Cristi? <laughs> All right so let's start let's start before we uh, before I explain you something about the questions, which was the last topic we were studying last time, let's do something. Let's have a little revenge or a little vendetta on one of the games we played some days ago. So we are going to work in two groups. So I'm going to make the groups. It's going to be nine and 10, a group of nine and a group of 10. So listen. Uh, to your names because this is going to be group one all right this is group one listen group one jose vasquez mario jonathan marquina adelson mr panameño cristian segura cristian cepeda dago francisco and that's it all right so you are group number one nine people Okay, your group number one. Group number two is the rest. So that is Gloria, eh, Jaime Mejibar, Jimmy Vallecillos, Jorge, 
José Torres, Nicolás Monge, Nixon, Ronald, eh, Rutilio, and William. All right, so you are group number two. All right, so what are we going to play? So before we start, we are going to play this game that I bet you remember. Do so you remember this game, Word Shake? Yes? Uh -huh. Do you remember this game? Yes, yes, right? All right, very good. So as you remember, we need a person to drive. We need a person who is going to be in charge of making the words. So group one, eh, choose a person. Empecemos por el dos hoy. <laughs> Number two first. So group one and group two, choose a person. You choose a representative. Or should I choose? Should I choose the victim? <laughs> exactly. Let's see. Let's see. Francisco Solorzano, group one. Así quedó traumado la vertiga. Let me see. Group number two. From group number two, Mr. Nicolas. Nicolas, are you from your computer or your cell phone? Cell phone, teacher. Cell phone. Yes. All right, let me see. All of, all <laughs> us, only cell phones. Only cell phones. Let me see. Number, let's start with group number one. Let's see. Nixon, your group number one or number two? Number two, teacher. Number I two. Represent the number <laughs> group two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nixon, you're going to be then the representative for group two. Because okay, I, I see you are the one with the computer. <laughs> so let's see. Let's start with group number, uh, number two. Let's start with Nixon. So Nixon, I'm giving you control of the screen now. So you let me know if you can move it. Let me know once you can. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, okay, I'm sorry, DJ. <laughs> Excuse that's me. That's fine. That's fine. I, I I needed to to set the music off because if not, we're going to go crazy. All right. Now you can do it. So, ready? Yes. Nixon. Yes, teacher. All right. Go. So, group number two, you help Nixon to make as many words as you can. Let's see how many points. Eight. You do. Pink. Pink? Mm, no. Oh. no. No, no, no. Load. Quick. Load, uh huh. Quit, very good. Load. 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 Nice, Old. very good. Pilot. All. Pilot, very good. All. Pilot. Uh huh. All. All. Uh, all. All. Nice. All. 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 Good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Body. 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 D. Jet. D. 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 A. Jet. A. 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 Mad. Yellow. Why? Mad. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yellow. Hey. No. Yellow. No. 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 Well, well. Daddy. Ah, no hay otra L. No, no, no. Daddy. Daddy. There's only one L. Daddy, ah. D. 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 
MAD. 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 Pito. Ah. What? What? <laughs> Replete. ¿Cómo? Un nombre. White. Ey. Look. Ey. Mitado. Four. Eight. Eight. Idol. Ah. Idol. Idol. Very good. Nice. I. I E Y E I win E Y E E M A D M A D M A A that's E A uh -huh. Mad, very good. Middle, middle, M. Me. D. L. E. O. Oh, middle. middle. Something was missing. Middle. M. A. Double D. Double D. Eight, seven, six, uh, four, 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 two, e -O -L. one. Uh, Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. 14. Play again, teacher. <laughs> wait, this, this is this is a round one. So round one for two points. Oh, very good. Okay, teacher. Not bad, not bad. Let's see. Group one. Representative. Let me see. Group one. Let me Mario. choose a first. <laughs> Mario, okay, you up to the challenge, yes, all right, yes, all right, Mario, that's the spirit. So, Mario, I'm giving you control of my screen now, so you need to accept to control my, my screen. So, group two for 10 points, okay, Mario, if you're ready, click on play again, okay, let's see. All righty, let's see. Group number one. Movie. Movie. Uh -huh. Mo Mo movie. Very good. Nice. Toy. Great. Toy. 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 United. <laughs> Very good. No, but. So, uh -huh. N U N U D A. N. <laughs> okay, how do you know that? <laughs> Como sabes? You, 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 you. And you? D. 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 Uh -huh. E. E. <laughs> e. No. E, e, e. 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 English. E. Yes. E. Covid. Uh huh. <laughs> there you go, nice. Not, the, Let's not, see. not. Okay. No, not. Not very good. A note. All right, note. Good. Time, time, time. Time. T. Uh, time, time. Time, time. T I M E. Nice. Time. Voice. 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 B O E C E. Voice. Voice. Very good. Voice. Excellent. Nice. Good word. Only two. Let's see. B O E. Which one? I T O D. No D O T O D O T T O T T T T T T T Tango. Tango. 
E O E O O N I N N A ah. Tommy <laughs> No. T O M solo, solo seleccionarla ahí para terminarla. Ay. T O M nine eight seven six five four three two one. Ay ay ay. Oh my. No tengo palabra más. ¿Cuál era vos? ¿Cuál era? <risa> Explíqueme eso un poquito. Tom, querían poner. Tommy. Tommy y Jerry. Tommy y Jerry. Towing. So, round one. Group two, 14. Group one, 13. Tom. Tom. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. So group two, the last one, group two. Let me see. Nixon again? Or yeah. someone else? Other person. Yeah. Nixon? Uh, All right. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> Who? I am teacher. <laughs> All right, so I guess it's you, right? Okay. So here we go. Nixon, I gave you control of the screen now. Okay. Um. All right, you let us know once you're ready. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. ready, teacher. Go, go for it. Okay. All right. Here goes Mr. Nixon. Bad. Easy. Full. Very good. Bad. Full. Light. Huh? Light. Full. Fly. Fly. All right. Light. Full. L. U. L. L. Full. Very good. Light. Love. 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 There you go. Nice. Beyond. Live. Beyond. Good word. Live. Live, okay. Oxtrot Lima. Bev. Oxtrot Lima. What? Los. L. I. Luz. O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O Luz, 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 no. Mine. No. No. Oh, mine. mine. Right. <laughs> no. 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 Repeat. Repeat. No. No. Ah, no. 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 Ah, yeah. Um. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nine. 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 And. I N E nine. Okay, nine. The number. No. Good. No. Be young. Two letters. Be young. Be young. Be young. Beyond. Eight point. Uh, uh, no, no, no. E. 
Dee, Dee, Dee. Hey, As five, Yes. There you go. <laughs> right on time. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. New record. New record. New record. <laughs> that's a new record indeed. 28 points. Wow. That's crazy. Teacher. Very good. Thank you, teacher. I can repeat the group one. That's a good one. That's a Group one. Es trampa, muy, muy fácil ese crucigrama. <laughs> hey, it's random. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Solo, le, solo letras raras aparecen en el grupo one. <laughs> let's see. So who's going to try? Group one. Mario again? Yes. 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 All right. Here goes. Control for you, Mario. All right. Go for it. Okay, group one, this is your chance. Come on, come on, you can do it. Pencil. Pencil, box, very good. Pencil. Wire, wire. Pencil, very good. Wild. Wire. 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 Box. Wire. Uh -huh. Wire. W E R. Very good. A wire. Nice. Line. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. Line. Nice. Line. Good. Line. 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 Good. Line. We. L E E. L E E. E. L E. Lee, ah, like Lee. Andres. Bruce Lee. <laughs> Let's see. Shine. Yeah. Shine. The chin was. Shine. 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 Police. 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 You still have time, you still have time. Lie, 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 the mentira. L L I I E E. -E. L I E. Ping. <laughs> uh -huh, very will. Good. Will. La will. The yanta. Will. Salgado. Will. Force. F R C E. Yeah. All right. Life. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. Come on, you can do it. Beer. Good. Beer. Beer. Yes, beer. Ten Ooh. points. <laughs> Ten <laughs> points. Oil. 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 Uh -huh. oil. Aceite. Oil. Oil. Very good. Oil. 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 Come on, come on. Police. Mm. Police. Oh, police. P O L I C E. File. File. Seven. Fire. 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 That was good. That was better than the previous one. So it was 21 points. Pobrecito. Era más complicado el nuestro. Eso ya es amaño ya. Sí, sí, sí. Ya parece Real Madrid. <laughs> so, group number one, 34 points. Group number two, 42 points. 
A clap for group number two. They were the winners. Very good. Group number two. Nice. Amaño. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Punto para el examen, dicho. Yeah. Eso. Si me hubieran dicho antes, lo hubiéramos negociado, pero no, no me dijeron nada. Tomorrow, ah, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we'll see. We'll see. I'll think, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. All right. So, guys, I was checking if, if you noticed some of the of your answers in the forum um, about the questions that we were writing last time. So, most well, pretty much in. Most of the cases, let's say, we had the same problem. If whenever we are asking questions, as I told you last time, whenever we're asking questions, we have, a, we have this problem. This is something that is very common. And it's the use of auxiliaries. Si se fijaron, no sé si ya vieron los... los eh, el feedback por los comentarios. Yes, teacher. Ok, nice. En la mayoría fue casi lo mismo. El uso de los auxiliares. The thing is that you are leaving sometimes just the main verb. If you leave only the main verb, well, pretty much it's not a question. So, if you, if you ask something like, for example, where... He works. Where he works, where he works. If we translate that to Spanish, our mind might think, donde él trabaja, o donde trabaja. Mm, yeah, I mean, in Spanish, if we translate that, probably that's the way our mind or our brain is going to do it. But in English, the structure will be a little bit different. So what would be the structure then? Would be, what do we need? Mm -hmm. How do we correct it? Work he. Where, Where he work? does. Work? Where does he? Oh. Ah. He does. Where does he? Work. work. Where does he work? If we if we check the structure, we can decompose it and we can see the elements that are there. So we have WH word. Then we have let me see auxiliary. Then we have subject, and then we have main verb and of course we need a question mark si lo vemos así como en una radiografía a esa oración o a esa pregunta esto es lo que compone la pregunta eh, tendríamos la wh word el auxiliar do or does el sujeto o sea de quien estamos hablando el verbo principal y el signo de pregunta. Y donde dice main verb o verbo principal, podría ser complement también, o le podríamos poner el complemento, en el caso de que hubiera algo más aparte de, 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 del verbo principal. Now, this is pretty much what we are going to need most of the time. This is in case that we have an action verb. So as you can see, here we have an action verb, verb. We are not using the verb to be, so we are using an action verb. En este caso, no estamos ocupando el verb to be. Eh, por eso, estamos ocupando un auxiliar. So keep that in mind. There were some other questions like, eh, what is your job? What is your job, Tom? What is your job, Tom? Mm. Entonces ahí me, me quedaba yo, what is your job, Tom? Okay. 
¿Cuál es, cuál es su trabajo de tomo? ¿Cuál es el trabajo de tomo? Mm -mm. So we cannot write this. How can I write it? How do, how do I write cuál es su trabajo? O ¿Cuál es el trabajo de Tom? Any ideas? No ideas. What his? Ah, very good. What his, his. job? What's his job? It could be what's his job? Or I can say what's Tom's job? What's Tom's job? So either or it will be correct. The first one, what's his job? The second one, what's Tom's job? En la primera, ya no hago mención del nombre de Tom. En la segunda, sí. En la primera, yo diría, ¿cuál es su trabajo? No puedo poner your, porque your es su, de, de usted. De okay. ustedes. Tú, ajá, de tu trabajo. Right. Como si yo les estuviera preguntando ahorita a uno de, what's your job? Entonces, no, no puedo ocupar eso. Necesito his, because I'm talking about Tom. So if I'm talking about Tom, what I need is his. What's his job? So that's one. Si yo quiero decir, o si yo quiero mencionar el nombre de Tom, y quiero decir, si voy a ocupar el nombre de Tom, eh, ya no voy a decir, ya no puedo ocupar his. Tengo que ocupar el posesivo con el apóstrofo, el que se ve acá. Esto. What's Tom's job? Diferente a esto que tengo acá. Cuando yo digo what's, what's, en este caso, solo es una contracción del verb to be. What is, what is. Esto es una contracción del verb. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. En este caso, si estuviéramos ocupando ya el, el auxiliar y das y, o tú, ya no podríamos ocupar ese apóstol, fe. Si fuera una, si fuera una, si la ya la quisiéramos convertir en una pregunta. Depende, depende. Me dice Cristian, este apóstol fue acá, el Tom. ¿O en what? Mm, yo diría que en los dos sería la pregunta si podemos ocupar ah, que la auxiliar ajá. y das o tú. Vaya. Y estando sí, la apóstrofe ahí. Ah, sí y no. Porque sí y no. Porque esto con esto no es lo mismo. Entonces, esto les decía que es una contracción del verb to be. Y esto es un posesivo en el caso de las personas. Acuérdense que cuando son personas yo puedo expresar el posesivo con un apóstrofo en la letra S. Entonces, si yo quiero ocupar un auxiliar, Cristian, eh, debo recordar que si yo voy a ocupar un auxiliar, tú o das, no puedo ocupar el verb to be porque no, no, no se puede mezclar, no puedo mezclar verb to be y auxiliar do y das, porque ahí se me corta el actor si lo mezclo los dos. Entonces, no, cannot do that. Mm -hmm. So, what do I do? Si yo digo, por ejemplo, what does he, digamos, how, how do How do you call Tom's sister? How do you call Tom's sister? How do you call Tom's sister? Entonces, aquí sí, puedo seguir ocupando este porque solo es un posesivo, pero el otro, o sea, ya una contracción con el verb to be, 
ya no cabe acá. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy ocupando un verbo principal, call. O en este caso no es call eh, literal de llamar por teléfono, sino de, de, cómo, de, cómo, de cómo le llamas, cómo, cómo le decís, digamos. ¿Cómo le decís al hermano Tom? Eh, flaca, eh, I don't know, you name it, pretty eyes, you name it, right? Por ejemplo, es como si se entendiera de cómo le decís de apodo, cómo le decís de cariño, ¿no? I'm called Tom's sister, right? So, in this case, no verb to be, yeah? But I can use a possessive, uh, like in the case of Tom's sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Cool. Now, eh, remember that in this case, um, this is like the two types of things that I have, or this is like the two types of questions that I have. If I, for example, have our uh, next ray here, we have the bridge word plus verb to be plus complement, let's say. All right. If we say this, uh, this is like, let's say the x-ray of this sentence here, then we have the question mark. WH word, verb to be, and the rest, the complement in the question. Like in this case, what, right here we have a, a contraction for the verb to be, but it's there, what's his job, right? Eh, teacher, ¿y puedo hacer una oración, o puedo, perdón, puedo hacer una pregunta sin necesidad de ocupar una WH word? Yes, you can. No es obligación ocupar una WH word. Pueden hacer una pregunta solo con el auxiliar o solo con el verb to be. ¿Cómo así? Esas son las que decíamos, eh, yes, no questions. So, if we call them, yes, no questions, it's because we answer only yes or no. So I can say, is Tom from Cuba? Is Tom from Cuba? Bless you. Is, come, is Tom from Cuba? If I ask that, voy a borrar acá. If I ask this question, I can only answer yes or no. So I say yes, he is, or no. He isn't, right? Just like that. That's with the verb to be, with the auxiliary. Does he like his job? Does he like his job? Again, I need to answer yes or no. Yes, he does, or no. He doesn't. So either or, eh, I only use the auxiliary in the answer too. Does he like his job? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Lo que algunos hicieron también en la respuesta era que querían poner el auxiliar más el verbo principal. So, entonces me ponían, yes, he does, likes, his job. So, no, 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 no. Yes, he does, likes his job. No. ¿Por qué no? Porque no puedo tener main verb and auxiliary verb at the same time. No way, Jose. We need only one. If I want to give the complete answer, then I just need to say, yes, he likes his job. That's it, right? 
If I want to give the short answer, yes, he does. Yeah. Si quiero decir respuesta corta, yes, he does. Si quiero echarme todo el complemento de la oración, o sea, decirla completa, yes, he likes his job. Pero no mezclar verbo principal y auxiliar en ninguna de las dos respuestas, ni en la corta ni en la larga. Right? So, you keep that here, you keep that in mind, because eh, we don't have to do that. So, let me see. Well, that's pretty much it. This were like the most common mistakes that we had during eh, the exercise that we had last week. Now, Uy, yo siento que, que quizás no, no he entendido bien lo de las preguntas. Podría decir alguien por ahí. Tranquilo. Esto es de lo más difícil, creo yo, de, de asimilar. Eh, el hecho de, como les decía al, la semana pasada, el crear uno las preguntas, eh, al principio es complicado porque no, nos hacemos bolas con los auxiliares y con los verbos y a la, o a la hora de contestar. Hacemos una sola pelota, pero poco a poco le van a ir hallando a esto. No es la única vez que lo van a ver, lo van a seguir viendo. Eh, probablemente durante todos los niveles básicos, en algún momento van a ver algo de, de WH questions, de yes, no questions. Y poco a poco le van a ir hallando la mecánica, las preguntas. Pero... También vayan tomando en cuenta eh, ese feedback y ese, esa, esas correcciones que sí le hice para que, ya no, para que corrijan los errores que, que, que cometieron la, la semana pasada. So, any question about this? ¿Preguntas hasta ahorita? Ajá. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Eh, si no tiene feedback, eh, es que estaba más o menos correcto. ¿Perdón? Si no le puso feedback al, al comentario, es que estaba bien. Oh. Si le di like, este, Ajá. sí. Ah, pues sí, ah, sí okay. si le di like y no tenía nada, ahí va, nítido. Nice. Cool. Any other question about this? No. Pasamos a otra cosa. Nice. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, cool. So, if there are no questions about this, then we can start with what we might call a new topic. So, you're still uh, looking at my screen? Yes? Are you seeing the pictures, the dog, the table, and the box? Yes? Yes? Can you see the screen? No, teacher. Yes, no, yes, teacher. teacher. Yes? Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. No, yes. Si no la ven, probablemente ya, ya le va a cargar. Si la ven, tendrían que ser, eh, well, you're seeing a dog, a box, and a table there. Cool. Now, yeah. excellent. The name here in the I don't see, teacher. You don't see anything? No. Why? Blanca, nada más. Ah, really? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, solo yes. Blanca. I don't oh, see. Sí. Only white. Se lo voy a compartir otra vez. Veamos. What about now? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. Right. It's okay. Nice. Wonderful. So, as you can see here, there is a question and it says, where is the dog? Where is the dog? And then we have the dog. If I ask, for example, let me see, volunteer, where is the dog? What would be the answer that you would give me? What would you answer? Uh -huh. The door is in the in my house. The dog is in my house. It could be the dog is in my house. Very good. What else? What else can we say about the dog? Mm. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más podríamos contestar? 
Where is the dog? The dog is in my house? Yes. What else? The dog is next to the box. Excellent. The dog is next to the box. Very good. That's another answer we can give. So, if you're following, we mentioned in the house, next to the box. How do we call that? We call them prepositions of place. Now, what are prepositions of place? What we are going to see or what we are going to start studying today is actually some examples on prepositions of place. So, for example, here I have again the question, where is the dog? And then we have the answer. The dog is in the box. In the box. Mm -hmm. ¿Se les hace familiar esa preposición? In? ¿Dónde la vimos? Yes. Ajá. Where do we study? Uh, preposition of time. Ah, uh, prepositions of time. In general. Aha, uh -huh. there you go. General prepositions of, of time. Now, keeping that in, on, and at, they can only be prepositions of place. Esas tres preposiciones que vimos, in, on, y at, at. También son preposiciones de lugar. Not only time, but also place. So keep that in mind. We're going to see some of the differences in some minutes. In this case, whenever we have something like where we can put something inside, or like in this case, in this room here in my house or in your houses, we are in the house. I am in the room in the classroom, let's say. So I am here, right? I'm in my room. So I'm using in because I'm inside. All right, keep that in mind. <laughs> Next example. Where is the dog? The dog is on the table, on the table. So again, we're using that preposition of place, in this case, on. On means that it is something on a surface. Cuando algo está sobre una superficie, ocupamos on. In Spanish, we might translate that as sobre, sobre la mesa. We commonly, we just say en la mesa, right? Eh, lo más común es decir, el chucho está en la mesa, right? En la mesa. But originally it would be sobre. On se utiliza siempre que hablamos de superficies o que algo está en una superficie. So that could be on the table, on the desk, on the bed, etc., etc., on the floor, and so and so. Here we have the dog is under the table. Under the table. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Como la canción de Luis Miguel, ¿verdad? Under the table, por debajo de la mesa. So there you go. Under the table, debajo. There you go. Then we have this one. The dog is next to the table. Next to the table. Next to, next to. A la par. Literally, a la par next to the table. There we have, the dog is in front of the table. In front of the table. As the name implies, en frente de la mesa. En frente de, in front of. Be careful with the pronunciation of this. Remember that we are seeing or whenever we are pronouncing this, of, we pronounce it like this. No lo pronunciamos of, 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 in front of. If we say of, 
like this. Eso es otra cosa. Apagar. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off the lights. Please turn off the lights. Right? Ahí sí lo pronuncio off. Pero si es solo con una F, entonces yo digo of. Of. Como si fuera una V. Of. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why the expression son of, son of a, you know what? Teacher, uh, se, podri, se podría mencionar the dog is left side disabled. Mm. If we want to say that, we would say something a little bit different. The dog is. Um, in the left side of the table. I guess it still will be even better if we say at the left side of the table. El perro está al lado izquierdo de la mesa. That could be if we want to be very specific. If we really want to be specific, we could use that. The dog is at the left side of the table. But it's possible. Cool. Any other question? Okay, All right. Sure. Cool. So let's see. Behind. The dog is behind. Behind. Right. Behind. Let me see. Another one. No, this we're not gonna check this one yet. Come on. All right. So here we have a little exercise. If I ask you, for example, uh, where is the kitchen? What would you say? Where is the kitchen? Where is the kitchen? It's between. Ah, uh, the kitchen. Uh -huh. between the bathroom uh -huh. and dinner room. The dining room, very good. The kitchen is between the bathroom and the dining room. Here we have another preposition. Let me write it here. Between. Between. What does between mean? In Entre. Medio, right? Entre, exactly. Between. So we say, the kitchen is between the bathroom and the dining room. You see, the kitchen is between the bathroom and the dining room. La cocina está en medio del baño y el comedor. Yep. ¿Cómo es la pronunciación de dining room? Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Yes. Dining room. Mm. Dining room. Good. Okay, gracias. Sí. Thanks. All right. What if I ask, where is the cat? Where is the cat? That is... Is on sofa. On the sofa. Very good. If I ask, where is the cat? The answer, the cat is on the sofa. On the sofa. Very good. On because he is over that surface. Eh, utilizo on porque está sobre la sofa. Sobre. Sí. Ajá, exactly. Okay. El sillón. Nice. If I ask, where's the television, Mr. Let me see, 
Panameño, where's the television? Uh, television is from the kid. The television is in front of the, the kid. kid. Very good. There you go. The television is in front of the kid. Nice. What if I say, um, let me see, where is where is the fridge? Where is the fridge, Mr. Uh, no, 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 no. Mr. Jose Torres? Where is the fridge? Where is the fridge? Uh, the fridge in front of the cooking, or in front of the, the, the boys. In front of the boys? Yes. The fridge is in front of the boy. Maybe of one boy, because he's seeing it in front of him. And it could be, aha, uh -huh, the kitchen is also behind the chef. Could be, because the chef is cooking like this, so the fridge is... Exactly. There you go. Behind the chef. Excellent. There you go. What about if I say, where is the living room? Where is the living room, Mario? Where is the living room? The pantry. Uh -huh. Where is the living room, Mario? Um, the living room... Is mm. outside the bedroom. Outside. How do we say that? Uh. Left. To the left. Mm, there is another preposition we can use, Mario. Next to. Next to. Next to what? Next to. Next bedroom. to the bedroom. Next to. Next to the room. Very good. The living room is next to the bedroom. Okay. okay. Very good. Nice. Now. Let me see. All right. Let's check something else here. I guess that's very much it. So let me see. Let me just stop showing you this screen. And, sure. uh -huh, tell me. I have, an, I have a question. What is the difference? Yes. What is the difference between under and uh, be below? So that's a good question. We pretty much use them in similar ways. We can say, for example, if we say under and below, we can use it pretty much in the same way, but there are maybe some exceptions. Like when I say, uh, just to say something, where is my shoe? Where is my shoe? It is below, no, let's say it is under the bed. Let's say it is under the bed. 
But if I say it is below that petty shirt. So it is below that petty shirt, right? Under and below, they are very similar. But when we use under, it gives the impression that we are, or that it, it's like if it's mm, under something like uh, some type of furniture or some type of a big thing, let's say, like a bed in this case. So under the bed. But if it, like when we use below, it's something that is not that deep, let's say, that is more shallow. If I say, for example, like a piece of cloth or something like that, that is not something big, that is something smaller, then I would use below, below yeah. that, right? I can, I can also say, like in this case, when I'm talking about the screen, this is below, uh, let's say, this uh, period. This period is below the sentence. I don't say under, I say below. So it depends pretty much on the context that I am, that I am, that I am using, right? So, so. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Yes, Rona? Entonces, sería de que el below lo vamos a utilizar cuando esté debajo de algo en específico. Sí y no. El below es como algo que está debajo, como de un mueble, por ejemplo, eh, de algo que es como una estructura grande. Diríamos, por ejemplo, under the car, under the bed, under the table. Below se entiende que no es algo que no está debajo de algo así, sino que yo puedo decir it's below, it's below the papers, por ejemplo. Where are my keys? Oh, it's below those papers. ¿Dónde está mi llave? Debajo de esos papeles. It's below those papers. No es algo que es grande, sino que son un par de cosas que tapan eh, tal vez el objeto que yo estoy buscando. En ese caso, yo usaría below, que es algo que no es exactamente un mueble, o no es algo grande, no está debajo de algo grande como eso. ¿Ah? Entonces, ajá, ajá, no, por eso, hacía hace referencia, o sea, debajo de algo en específico, o sea, como que igual para que yo tuviera, eh, ya sea mi cartera, debajo de la almohada. Ajá, could be. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, de hecho. Below the pillow. Uh -huh. Could be. También les decía que cuando nos ubicamos en una pantalla, por ejemplo, eh, ocupo el below. Above and below. Lo opuesto de below es above. Sí, es sobre. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces... Si lo traducimos al español, entonces este above es parecido a on, right? On, yo lo ocupo con superficie. Es, eh, por ejemplo, el cat, the cat is on the sofa. Above es cuando algo está sobre algo. Yeah. So, and if don't you check... The, and don't touch the surface. Not necessarily, uh -huh. not necessarily, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like for example, right now, above the screen, <clears throat> I have some tabs. Arriba o sobre la pantalla tengo eh, estas pestañas, right? So above the screen, I have some tabs. Below, I have some other options, let's say. So above and below, it's different, let's say. So again, it depends on context. As William mentions, when we use above, not necessarily I'm talking about a two surfaces making contact. It could be just something above. So there's a space here, right? Yes. Good. Any other question? Are we cool?
It could be. Nice, very good. So, in summary, what we just studied is what we call prepositions of place. Between the most common prepositions of place, we have in, on, at, next to, uh, well, we don't have under, it's the one that we started, uh, in front, of, behind. What else do you remember in the other one? Before. Before. Between. Uh -huh. Between. Mm -hmm. Out. Among. Outside. Could be outside. Near. Uh -huh. Near. Could be. Far. Far. Or far from. Uh huh. In the other preposition. Hmm? Into. Into. And so Over. and so. Hmm? Over. Over. Could be. Now, above. from these above. prepositions. Above. above. That's the other one that we started. Above. From all these prepositions that we have here, there is another one that is a little bit Teacher. tricky. Uh-huh. Uh, what does mean among? Ah, yes. Very good. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> read your mind, Mr. Padmeni. <laughs> Mr. King. <laughs> there you go. Between and among. If we Google or if we check the definition in a dictionary, we are going to find that it's the same, but it's not the same. If we translate it into Spanish, it means in medio de, in medio de. But the difference is that I use, let me see. I can use this to exemplify. All right. If I want to if I want to talk about the place where the heart is, I say the heart is between the stars. The heart is between the stars. So the heart is here and the stars are here, right? This is between this one here. This is the example of between. Among is a little bit different. If I want to exemplify among, I would say something like this. So I would say something like, the heart is among the stars. Como plural. So, mm, close. Es como rodeado de. Ah, it's more like that. It's like something that is surrounded by something else. That como en cantidad. Ajá. Uh -huh by something that is more than the object that we are describing. For example, I can say, oops, for example, I can say, I will erase here, right? If I say, there is a there is a tomato among these apples. Let's say that I found a tomato in a basket with apples. So I cannot say that 
I have a tomato between apples because I don't have two apples and a tomato. I have a tomato in a basket full with apples. Si yo tengo una canasta llena de manzanas y tengo un tomate, o sea, me salió un tomate entre todas las manzanas, no digo a tomato between, digo a tomato among, porque tengo varias manzanas. El between funciona cuando están dos, y cuando algo está en medio de dos cosas. So I say, there is, um, let's say there is a desk between those chairs. There is a desk between those chairs. Hay un escritorio en medio de esas sillas, right? So maybe it's because I have a chair here, a chair here, and then I have a desk. So I make a reference that that is right in the middle. That's the difference between among and between. Between, solo hace referencia que está en medio de dos cosas y among varias. It's correct. Teacher, uh -huh. nice. before I say, when I go to the stadium to see the fast, I'll be uh -huh. among of the Alianza followers. Damn, yes. That's that's correct, but that's not wise. <laughs> es correcto, oh. pero no es muy, no es muy recomendable. <laughs> There you go. Nice. Hey, más es del fas. Más es del fas. That is okay. No, I don't. Yes. I don't say between the Alianza followers. No. Uh huh. No. Among. Among. Okay. But if you say among, uh huh, it's because you are surrounded by the Alianza followers. Uh huh. I lost my cell phone. Only two. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I had someone stole my. my, no, my Aliancistas no son seguidores, son fanáticos. Ah, ok. Lunáticos son. Wow. En inglés, en, en inglés, en inglés. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> ok, ok. Thank you, thank you. Ok, ok. <laughs> All right, guys. So, tomorrow we're going to continue reviewing something related to prepositions of place. That's going to be one of the last topics we're going to study. Eh, si todavía sienten que tienen eh, problemas con otros temas, eh, o, o que hay quedado algunos, siempre me pueden preguntar, right? So, eh, no hay problema, podemos hacer eh, siempre un pequeño repaso de algo que haya quedado por ahí. No tan claro, y, pero si no, y siempre nos podemos ir metiendo con los temas nuevos que vayamos viendo como este. All right. So, for the time being, thank you very much for being here today. Always a pleasure to see you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night and have a, have a good rest, okay? Thank you very much, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye, 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 b